These toppings are so good. Andrew Tucker, welcome to Andrew Tucker World. What's going on, all my great people? What's going on, all my boxing fans? Yeah, There's a lot of hate going on in the world. And I say that just to say this. There's a lot of hate going on in the sport of boxing. Let me rephrase that. There's a lot of hatred going on in the sport of boxing. There's a lot of hatred going on in the YouTube boxing community. I am disappointed. Ain't, ain't no ain't no playing no games with y'all, man. Ain't no playing no games. People are entitled to their own opinion. I can respect that. So this is just coming from where I stand, my stance on things. You guys quick to dismiss a lot of things. You guys, it's like y'all be praying for the downfall of these fighters. It's nothing that y'all can tell me. I want you to understand. It's nothing that y'all can say to allow me to see it y'all way. Unless it's the truth. It's nothing y'all can say to allow me to see it y'all way. Unless you guys are telling the truth. I will never stand. For something that is wrong. I would never stand. For something that's not right. You understand me? I want y'all to understand. Ain't none of no. You 5,000 subscribers. The 10,000. The 20. The 40. 50. 100. A couple of mil. The 20 mil. And I rock with certain people. And I'm connected with certain people. Of such fan bases. Of such followings. A lot of y'all don't even know. What I do outside of YouTube and you think I'm supposed to be impressed and bow down and think you got power and control and authority on how I feel or how I do things or how I maneuver or how I feel or what I think or what I should understand or what I should know, how I should see things from your perspective, from your point of view, just because you got 50 to 80 to 100,000 to a million subscribers and followers. I help many people grow channels. That's kind of like one of my line of works, but neither here or there. Neither here or there. I'm not impressed. Something. Congratulations to to uh, to Daniel Dynamite Dubois. Executed the game plan. Did what he had to do, and I broke it down on how it could happen, on how things could possibly go. And on Joshua's, on, coming from Joshua's end, coming from Daniel Dubois' end, coming from Dubois, coming from Joshua. I told you guys this could be a war. I was wrong about one thing. That I didn't see it being one sided. I didn't see it being one sided. I didn't see it being one sided on Joshua's end, nor Daniel Dubois' end. But I was wrong when it came to that. One thing, it was it was one sided on Daniel Dubois' end. But I said it was going to be a war. I said it was going to end techn via technical knockout or knockout. That video, three days, four, probably four days old. Go look at the video. Because y'all don't seem like y'all don't even want to like pay attention or watch videos. I see y'all on other channels floating around and you know what I'm saying? In the comment section, I come in to greet and show love to the other channels, the same people. Y'all don't have to watch me. I'm gonna tell you something. Much love and respect to the UK Army, to Tucker Army, for my loyal supporters, for people that subscribe to me and I appreciate the content, love the content that's been showing me love, whether you're on the beat in a few months, a year, a couple of months, or even a few days, even a week, few weeks. And people that, especially all my, my, my legendary people that's been there for, for three to four to five to six years or since the very beginning when I was going live putting in so much work so much work having that mo being motivated being inspired by a lot of other great channels being shown love by a lot of other great channels 
that are huge and even our platforms are even bigger and, and massive platforms today. Showing love. I remember when I was putting in work and when I put so much time invested because I love boxing and I love real true boxing fans and great people like the Tucker Army, UK Army. Tucker Army is worldwide. All my brothers and sisters from different parts of the world, different lands, regions, different continents, different, that we know in those continents, different countries, regions, cities, and lands. As far as the United States, different states, you know, um, and, and cities in those states. I don't have nothing against nobody, but what's wrong is wrong. Y'all, the same people praising Daniel the boss. I've been showing that kid love and never gave up on that kid when he went down. Why? Because maybe I probably prophesied, maybe, maybe I probably saw something, and I probably prophesied this a long time ago that this kid is going to bounce back. He's going to rise up from the ashes and he's going to become champion. This kid is going to bounce back. This kid's going to rise up from the ashes. He's going to prove a lot of haters and doubters. People that want to see him fail say he's not a great fighter. He a bomb. He's overhyped. He's a cab driver. All being all coming to all these disrespectful terms, right? All this mess and all this garbage, which is gonna allow the, this empire that was built to be broken down. Cause yo, y'all don't see what's going on around y'all, huh? Ain't many nothing that you that you clowns can say to me to allow me to ever see it y'all way, ever, especially when it's not right. And it's wrong. When you when you say certain things, you have a certain mindset, certain intentions. You have certain traits. That only indicates only indication of what your heart is really like. God is a God that loves that loves His creation, and His creation is of a pure heart, a good heart. God loves also loves. When you step out on faith, when you activate the faith, which annihilates the fear, we shouldn't fear nothing. That's why, and I don't. God kept me when I didn't want to be kept. I overcame so many life and death situations. I overcame so many life and death, so many strong codes, so many strong codes. Had to go to war with so many dark forces. I had battles mentally, horrific battles mentally, physically, emotionally. I had battles sit financially. But the ultimate battle was spiritual. In the spirit, in the spirit realms. It was the ultimate battle we all face in these days. Spiritual warfare is, is intense. Joshua, you guys can't you guys don't decide when he's retired, when he's gonna retire. You guys said he should have been retired. He came back and started dominating and knocking guys out, destroying guys. I'm talking about monsters. Francis Ngano, when you have to be on a level of Josh when he has been as skilled, but he put down one of the best fighters and maybe considered one of the top two within the top two heavyweights in the world and one of the best fighters in the world, not just in, in the heavyweight division. Tyson Fury, he went to war with him. But people say, oh, that was fixed. That was rigged. It was it was designed to go, you know, they had to, it was designed. Everything is an agenda. It was rigged. You know what I'm saying? It was kind of fixed. It was meant to happen that way. You know what I'm saying? Because maybe so someone so it could be in a position where, boom, Joshua gets a fight with him and things of that nature. And maybe it was a money grab. It was a money move. And it was a part of the plan, so, you know what I'm saying, to build up a certain fight that we wanted to see between Joshua and, and Fury. You know, I get it. I ain't, say, I ain't trying to say that's not the truth. I ain't trying to say that's not a fact. A lot of sports is rigged to a certain extent. It's fixed to a certain extent. There's a lot of dirty people behind these sports that, that are, that's worth billions and trillions of dollars. A lot of dirty people behind and fighters do what they're told. That's true enough. Yeah, yes, documentaries on that. 40, 50 years ago, 30 years ago, 20. Yeah, I mean, to a certain extent, a lot of us fixed. I'm so ain't. So don't don't try to crucify and throw stones at a person that's, that felt that way because they seen that Joshua was making some of the most amateurish mistakes. Like he would just, he wouldn't himself. That version, and not to take nothing away from Daniel the boss. So y'all can come at me if you want to. I want y'all to. I want y'all to. These, these are the times that I want y'all to. These are the times I want y'all to. I'm a force to be reckoned with. Y'all know that. 
Y'all know that. Y'all can, y all, y all get the gab. Y'all can talk and say what you want to do. You know what I'm saying? Because if you ain't going to physically want to meet me, you know what I'm saying? The boxing ring, we sparred out and then show sports, show you love. You know what I'm saying? You either get me, I get you, knock you out, you knock me out, or you break me down, I break you down, or I'll be competitive. And you know what I'm saying? We draw it out, show love, boom. We can set it up. On no hate, on no envy, no hate, no, no despising. Like, I, I'm, I love everyone. I don't hate no one. No one. So I'm saying? So y'all can just run your mouth all day. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, stop me, you're going to have to kill me. You know I, mean? I could be on some Daniel Dubois type stuff too, though, for real. <laughs> you know, only a few know. <laughs> only a few know. Only a few know. You know what I'm saying? But, yeah, Joshua made some, 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 rook, or some, some, some amateur some beginner and some beginning amateur mistakes. And it was a lot of mistakes and he was reckless in ways. It's like he was, I don't know, like he was constantly doing, doing little things on purpose. I don't know. Not to take nothing away from Daniel DeBois because he executed the game plan. But it was like Joshua making these little, like he was purposely making these mistakes that he normally don't make. Because even at times when he knew, knew when to capitalize, capitalize on, on, on a few mistakes Daniel DeBoss was making. But that, that, that kid is a moss, he's a beast. So I ain't saying that the pressure and the explosive, fast power shots coming at him. The jab was frustrating him a little bit as well. The jab was powerful as, as well. The powerful jab, <laughs> the snapping, it was a powerful snapping jab. The boss was so ready for this fight, so focused, so dedicated, so motivated, so driven to go in there on a big stage and prove himself. The uh, uh, um, Anthony Joshua, you know, he prepared. He was ready for this. When he stepped in the ring, he abandoned the game plan. It's like little rookie mistakes. I don't even like to say rookie because it's not what he is. I mean, you're talking about destroying a caliber opponent like Oliver Aline. I don't do triangle theory, so I'm not going to talk about what, what happened between him and Fury. I'm talking about what Joshua did. Bouncing back. The people thought he was done. Destroyed Otto Valley. In the fashion he did it, that version was not the Joshua we saw the other night. Even the version that, that won against and outboxed. Basically dominated and won every round against anyone we joined in a rematch. That version of Joshua that needs to come back. That version, to a certain extent, needs to come back. Mixed with the version that beat and destroyed all of Ali. Mixed with the version that that properly, that properly, properly set up a beautiful straight right lead to knock out Francis Ngannou. And properly putting the punches together, not being wild and, and throwing it at the wrong at the wrong time, leaving your head right there on the center line or leaving your head exposed to just get hit. <coughs> leaving your face to get hit. Without proper defense or with a, a certain guard to make sure the guard was up and, and make sure guard first, boom, set up certain shots to the body, boom to the head, or a slip roll counter, a slip counter, pull counter, like a lot of reckless things he was doing. And, and made like he was purposely trying to make he, like he was per, like he's like he was purposely purposely trying to do these things. Something was a little off. Something ain't seen right as I I'm, I just got to doing film study. Something ain't seen right, man. Something ain't right. So if it's a rematch and why Joshua come back and it's a different story, highly, highly competitive war with Joshua ending with a knockout, then I'm just going to let y'all know straightforward. A lot of some of my guys were saying, yeah, it was most definitely fixed. Stop counting these fighters out. Y'all count so many of these fighters out. They come back and prove y'all wrong. Y'all not in these fighters' bodies, minds. Y'all not training for these fighters. Y'all not controlling these fighters. Who are you to say anything? And you ain't even stepping on rain. I even threw one punch. Get out my face. I'm ready for y'all. Come with it.